Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to my Dark Souls SL1 run. Only one more boss in the DLC area. The Black Dragon Calumet. Gotta go talk to someone first. As you can see I went and bought some more heavy bolts. We're gonna be using the crossbow against this guy. Well, not the guy in here. Against Calumet, I mean. So for this to work, you gotta find Calumet both times. You gotta see him twice. Then you say goodbye to this guy. And then you talk to him again and say yes. And yes again. And then magic happens. You can actually get this bow from him, and I have no idea how I how I can wield that. There he goes. I like this cutscene. Okay, now he's grounded. And we can actually go and fight him. I'll use my boulder shields. I don't think I specifically need any magic or fire resistance for this fight. I was actually using the Crest Shield for magic resistance against Manus, but I never blocked a single attack. That was fun. I gotta kill the dogs first. Just to make sure they don't come after me. And attack from behind. It would help if I could actually hit them. Okay. It's Calamite time. From what I've read, he's resistant to fire and magic. It's a good thing we're not using any of those. Oh, I might as well switch to the lightning club. Just in case I need to melee. Okay, this fight should be easier than the last one. We should have some more openings. One hundred and four. This was not a very good idea. I think I'm out of range, but I'm, I'm also not locked. doesn't do as much damage against this guy as it did against Manus. Mm. 
upgrades. Okay, I'm actually gonna try the lightning crossbow and see if it does anything at all. I doubt it. 68. With lightning bolts. With regular bolts it does even less. For some reason. I don't understand the problem with this crossbow. Seems so weak. Come on, give me an opening. Like that. Was actually in range. And dead. Alright, I went back and got a couple of things since this guy is very tough, it's resistant to a lot of damage. So I got power within, I'm not sure if this will be that great, and I also got the red tear stone ring. Now this ring is really powerful, uh, but I have to be low health to use it, so it, it's something I have avoided uh, using until now because I cannot beat a boss perfectly, I will always take a hit. I, I probably could have used this ag against Manus, since I was getting pretty good against him towards the end, but even then I beat Manus while taking two or three hits and I had to heal because of that, so if I had been using this ring I'd probably be there still. Or maybe it would have been faster because I was dealing a lot more damage. We'll never know now. Okay, Power Within doesn't seem to be draining a lot of life. I unlocked. Okay, run away from the breath attack. And if we're lucky, we won't get hit at all. And if we're even luckier, as soon as Power Within ends, we'll be in range for the Red Ring. That'd be an ideal situation. Yeah, I'm dealing quite a lot of damage now with this. I've missed, I can't afford to miss. Here's a breath attack. These are the kind of attacks that I like because they are easily dodgeable. Spar within over, not yet. Okay, we're in range... I missed. We're in range of the ring. And power within seems to be over. Nice. And I'm dead. Fantastic. I probably would have lived if I wasn't so low. 
Alright. Going with the mask for a little bit more stamina regen. And we unequipped the Havel's ring. And ditched some gear that I had equipped so we can flip. So dodging is all we got. And sometimes it's not enough. Going melee this time with our lightning club. Since I don't have a shield, I won't. Uh, well, I, I don't have a shield because of the, of the weight. Since I unequip tables, and um, that will keep my finger off the block button. This way, I can most likely two hand and deal massive damage. Let's see. Starting with this. 320. Okay. Run, 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 run. 328 damage. We're off to a good start. I think we're mostly sticking to one hit and then run away strategy. Unless I'm feeling ballsy. We've done a decent chunk of damage already. I like that. And when the ring activates, we'll deal even more. That's only after Power Within ends. Come on, Calamite. Damn it! I got greedy with two attacks, I should have just run away. Is it me or are the DLC bosses a lot tougher than the others? It seems that way. Now if I could do this without getting hit, that would be... Fantastic, and I immediately get hit as I see it. Oh, but look at the damage! I have to heal, otherwise... Oh, uh, that happens. But that damage though... Okay, I'm back. And I'm eating a piece of candy. It's apple, it's delicious. Maybe it'll give me an edge. Or maybe it'll, it won't. Well, I, I'm in ring range now. That's good, I guess. He doesn't seem to be able to hit me when he does that. But then he hits me like this.
Yeah, we did it. One more boss down, only one more to go. And that is Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Let's get the hell out of here. Was starting to get a little bit frustrated, but Manus took a long, long time. Maybe it would have been better with this ring to kill Manus, but I didn't uh, get a flawless victory against him. I got hit once or twice, and if I was using the ring, that would have been enough to kill me. But then again. Maybe if I was wearing the ring at the time, it would have been quicker, because I dealt a lot more damage. Get filled with bolts, get my stuff again, get my shield, we're gonna be using the Dragon Crest against Gwyn. And I'm not going to be using this one. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. For now, uh, this is the end of the Calamite episodes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. And I'll see you all next time for the final episode. So... Don't miss the next episode because I won't.